friends, I am Teacher Maan. Welcome sa ating math tutorial. In this video lesson, we are going to divide decimal numbers and mix decimals up to two decimal places. In math, long division is a method used for dividing large numbers into groups or parts. This involves five steps. So we have D is to divide, M is to multiply, S is to subtract, B is to bring down, and R is to repeat the process. Let us now divide decimals by whole numbers. Example, 56 and 75 hundreds divided by 5. So 56 and 75 hundreds here is our dividend, and 5 is our divisor. So the first step is place the decimal point directly above the decimal point in the dividend. So, since ang decimal point ng ating dividend ay nasa pagitan ng 6 and 7, we are going to put decimal point above the decimal point in the dividend. Next is to divide as in whole numbers. So, these are the steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat the process. So, let us now divide. 5 divided by 5 is 1. So, we are going to put 1 above 5. And then, next is to multiply. 1 times 5 is 5. After that, we are going to subtract. So, 5 minus 5, we have 0. So, no need to write 0. And then, bring down 6. And then, we are going to repeat the process. So, magisimula ulit tayo sa division. So, how many 5s are there in 6? We have 1. 1 times 5 is 5. And then, 6 minus 5 is 1. Next is to bring down 7. And then, how many 5s are there in 17? 3. Then, 3 times 5, we have 15. Next is to subtract. 17 minus 15, we have 2. Bring down 5. So, how many 5s are there in 25? We have 5. 5 times 5 now is 25. And then, 25 minus 25 is 0. So, the quotient is 11 and 35 hundreds. To check our answer, let us multiply the quotient by the divisor. So, dapat kapag minultiply natin yung 11 and 35 hundreds and 5, dapat ang magiging sagot ay 56 and 75 hundreds para masabi natin tama yung sagot natin. So, in multiplying decimal numbers, all you have to do is to ignore the decimal point and then proceed in multiplying whole numbers. So, 5 times 5 is 25, regroup 2. So, 5 times 3 is 15, plus 2 is 17, regroup 1. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. And then, 5 times 1 is 5. Since we have two decimal places in our multiplicand and no decimal places in our multiplier, so, we have a total of two decimal places. So, we are going to move two decimal places in our product. So, we have one, two. So, we are going to put decimal point between six and seven. So, therefore, our answer is correct. Let's have number two. 424 and 8 tenths divided by 18. So, 424 and 8 tenths, this is our dividend, and 18 is our divisor. So, the first step is, place the decimal point directly above the decimal point in the dividend. Next is, divide like whole numbers. So, let us now divide. So, 42 divided by 18 is 2. So, next is to multiply. 2 times 18 is 36, and then subtract 42 minus 36. Since 2 minus 6 cannot be, we are going to borrow 4. So, 2 becomes 12 and then 4 becomes 3. So, 12 minus 6 is 
6. 3 minus 3 is 0. So after we subtract, let us now bring down 4. How many 18s are there in 64? We have 3. 3 times 18 is 54. And then subtract 64 minus 54, we have 10. Bring down 8. Ilang 18 meron so 108, we have 6. 6 times 18 is 108. So 100 minus 108 is 0. So therefore, our equation is 23 and 6 tenths. So to check our answer, if it is correct, let us now multiply the quotient 23 and 6 tenths by the divisor 18. Again, in multiplying decimal numbers, all you have to do is to ignore the decimal point and then multiply like a whole number. So we have now 6 times 8 is 48, regroup 4. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 is 28, regroup 2. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 we have 18. Next, let us multiply 1 by 6. So 1 times 6 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2, and then we are going to add the partial products. So we have 8. 8 plus 6 is 14, the group 1. 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 1 is 12, the group 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. Next, let us count the decimal places in the factors. Sa ating multiplicand, we have one decimal place. At sa ating multiplier, ay wala tayong decimal place. So a total of one decimal place. So, mag-move tayo ng isang beses in our product once. Okay, so we are going to put the decimal point between 4 and 8. So, 424 and 8 tenths is the same with our dividend. So, therefore, our answer is correct. Next is to divide whole numbers by decimal numbers. We have 168 divided by 1500. Step 1. Make the divisor as a whole number by moving the decimal point to the rightmost place. So, yung 15 dito, we are going to move two decimal places para maging whole number yung 15. So, we have 1 and then 2. Okay? Next, move the decimal point in the dividend the same number of times that we move it in the divisor. Then, insert zero in the dividend. Since we move two decimal places in our divisor, we are going to move also two decimal places in our dividend. Okay, so we have one and two. We are going to insert two zeros and then the decimal point here. And then, put the decimal point above the decimal point in the dividend. So next, divide like whole numbers. We have five steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat the process. So ilang 15 meron si 16, we have 1. And then multiply natin yung 1 and 15, we have 15. And then next is to subtract. 16 minus 15 is 1. Bring down 8. Ilang 15 meron sa 18, we have 1. 1 times 15 is 15. 18 minus 15, we have 3. Bring down 0. How many 15s are there in 30? We have 2. 2 times 15 is 30. 30 minus 30, we have 0. And then bring down 0. So 0 divided by 15 is 0. 0 times 15 is is zero, zero minus zero is zero, okay? So the answer is 1,120. So to check our answer, simply multiply the quotient by the divisor. So dapat ang magiging product nila is 168. So let us use calculator. So 1,120 times 1,500. So, the answer is 168. So, therefore, our answer is correct. Another example is 94 divided by 2 and 5 tenths. 
So again, the first step is make the divisor as a whole number by moving the decimal point in the rightmost place. So ilang decimal places ang imove natin para maging whole number yun 2 and 5 tenths. We have 1. Step 2, move the decimal point in the dividend the same number of times that we move it in the divisor. Isang beses na tayo nag-move sa ating divisor, ganun din ang gagawin natin. O same thing na isang beses lang din tayo mag-move sa ating dividend. Okay, so we are going to insert 0 and then put the decimal point above the decimal point in the dividend. So, let us now proceed on how to divide whole numbers. So, we have divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and then repeat the process. So, let us now first divide. 94 divided by 25 is 3. Okay, next is to multiply. 25 times 3 is 75. And then, subtract. 94 minus 75. 4 minus 5 cannot be. We are going to borrow 1 from 9. Okay? So, yung 4 magiging 14 and then yung 9 magiging 8. 14 minus 5 is 9 and then 9 minus 7 is 1. And then, bring down 0. Ilang 25 meron sa so 190. We have 7. 7 times 25, we have 175. And then, subtract. So, 0 minus 5 cannot be borrow 1 from 9. 9 becomes 8 and then 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 8 minus 7 is 1. So we have now 15. Since wala na tayong digit na ibibring down, we are going to add zeros in a dividend as needed. Okay. So add tayo ng 0 and then bring down 0. Ilang 25 meron sa 150, we have 6. So, 6 times 25, we have 150. 150 minus 150 is 0. So, therefore, our quotient is 37 and 6 tenths. So, again, to check our answers, simply multiply 37 and 6 tenths by the divisor 2 and 5 tenths. So, dapat na magiging sagot natin is 94 para masabi natin tama ang ating sagot. Okay, so to check our answer, let us use calculator. 37 and 6 tenths times 2 and 5 tenths. So the answer is 94. So our answer now is correct. Okay, next. Let us now divide decimals by and mix decimals up to two decimal places. For example, we have 4 and 59 hundreds times 3 hundreds. Step 1 will be make the divisor as a whole number by moving the decimal point in the rightmost place. So, ang ating divisor ay 3 hundreds. Para maging whole number siya, we are going to move 2 decimal places. So, we have 1 and 2. Okay? Next. We move the decimal point in the dividend the same number of times that we move it in the divisor. So we have 1 and then 2. So we are going to put decimal point here and then put the decimal point above the decimal point in the dividend. So next is divide like whole numbers. So we have now the 5 steps on how to divide whole numbers. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat the process. So, ilang 3 meron sa 4? 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. And then, bring down 5. So, ilang 3 meron sa 15? We have 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 minus 15, we have 0. And then, bring down 9. Ilang 3 meron sa 9, we have 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. So, our quotient is 153. So, to check our answer, let us use a calculator by multiplying the quotient 153 by our divisor 300. 
So, dapat ang magiging sagot natin dyan ay 4 and 59 hundreds. Okay, so 153 times 3 hundreds is 4 and 59 hundreds. So, therefore, our answer is correct. So, let's have now the last example. 11 and 52 hundreds divided by 1 and 8 tenths. So, make the divisor as a whole number by moving the decimal point to the rightmost place. So, ang ating divisor ay 1 and 8 tenths. Ilang places tayo magbumove para na maging whole number siya? We have 1. Step 2. Move the decimal point in the dividend the same number of times that we move it in the divisor. So, kung ilang beses tayo nag-move sa ating divisor, ganun din ang gagawin natin sa dividend. Okay, so we have 1. So we are going to put the decimal point between 5 and 2 and then put also decimal point on the top of the decimal point in the dividend. Okay? Next, divide like whole numbers. So yeah, we have the 5 steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. So first is to divide. Ilang 18 meron sa 115. So, we have now 6. 6 times 18 is 108. So, we have 5 minus 8 cannot be. So, magiging barrow 1 from 1. 1 becomes 0. And then 5 becomes 15. So, 15 minus 8 now is 7. 0 minus 0 is 0. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. So, we are going to bring down 2. So, let us... Now, divide. Ilang 18 meron sa 72, we have 4. 4 times 18, we have 72. 72 minus 72, we have 0. So, therefore, our answer is 6 and 4 tenths. So, to check our answer using calculator, let us multiply our quotient 6 and 4 tenths by the divisor 1 and 8 Tenths. So, 6 and 4 tenths times 1 and 8 tenths using calculator. So, the answer is 11 and 52 hundred. So, our answer is correct.